How's it going guys it's Najam and welcome back to another video now this is a bit of a different video so I've moved to DaVinci Resolve from Vegas Pro 15 and I wanted to talk about why I did that because if you look back at my videos um, which I've been rendering out with Vegas Pro over here uh, Pro 15 let, let's have a look at this sample that I just um, exported over here so as you can see um, it looks pretty nice right um, now let's go ahead and compare this to the actual file that I inputted from the camera, which is this thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can see the difference. So have a look over here, this bit over here. Right, and then have a look on here. Look at that. Um, so yeah, that's, yeah, that's why I've moved over to DaVinci Resolve. Now let's go ahead and I'll show you um, if I make a new project. Now I did use, you know, I have used DaVinci like a really, really long time ago, but it just wasn't as good as it is right now. Um, so the problem I have with Vegas is that the output colors of the videos, they're just really messed up for some weird reason. It crushes the blacks and they ex uh, um, clips out the highlights for some weird reason if you look at the actual file over here it doesn't seem to be a problem i mean i thought canon cameras were really really bad because uh, or just the way my videos came out but it's actually not the camera it's the uh, it's vegas pro that's doing this and there's no way to actually fix this i don't know how you can actually do this so if you go ahead and click on properties of the project um you get a few options over here and none of these actually change the output uh, this is just for the viewing and it's a bit weird and when i actually got this um the black levels were from 16 to 255 not 0 to 255 so everything that was meant to be black it looked all gray um that's the only way i can really explain it um you know without getting a bit over the top and too technical but that's not the problem the problem is you're seeing it this way and it comes out like in a different way and that's just wrong um, and I don't know what it is because I mean I don't know what is uh, what this thing is even doing if I go on to FX uh, there's nothing being added in right um, look there's nothing really being added in over here uh, and it just changes the colors that come out of it and you know I, I don't know why this even happens uh, but I didn't really like the quality that came out of these videos but let's just go ahead and close this I mean I'll actually still use this for you know this video that I'm editing right now because uh, the game capture thing it uh, records in M.2 uh, M2 TS format and Vegas actually supports that not very well but it does work and DaVinci doesn't really support that format this is mainly made for you know like uh, heavy end stuff and you know like professional kind of um, things now if I drag this same file on here uh, don't change uh, you can re render up to 4k and everything. then this is free as well believe you or not so go ahead and edit drag that into a new timeline over here um, you can go ahead and turn these off because you don't use that but as you can see um, this for some weird reason comes out exactly like the input file um, of you know from the camera uh, and and the views like that as well now i'm not sure about the uh, rendering speed and everything um but it's pretty decent i got a 1060 and a ryzen 7 1700 um fusion that i do use uh, i actually got this because of the colors um obviously da vinci is known for the color grading and everything but the camera um that i'm using is a canon camera the i think it's the eos m which is old camera and everything but the way that the image comes out, I don't really need to color grade it, so I don't really bother with that. Um, I just leave it the way it is. Uh, this, I believe, is an audio editing kind of stuff. Um, effects library. Yeah, it's got some things in here. Um, when you go into Fusion, uh, this I haven't used, but I heard it's really, really good. Um, it's, you know, it's way above my level. I don't know what the heck it is and everything. Uh, but if you go into the editor, which is what I mainly use, and I'm gonna, I'm, I might start using those when I get like a black magic camera. Um, if you go into effects library, I mean, look at all this you've got. I don't even use all of these, but this is free, by the way. Look at all this. 
it's absolutely insane and when i uh, first got da vinci resolve way back like three or four years ago it was nowhere near as good as this uh, it's gone so much better video editing and everything and um, you know i can easily uh, get into this it's just it's just really really good isn't it, it and i mean you can either do that or you can press the delete and then actually i didn't know it does that but now i do so it's pretty cool i mean it's gone so much better uh syncing up audio is not isn't a problem either uh if you can go just drop this down somehow <clears throat> uh get like the other audio that's in here if i add one like from the zoom recorder that i normally use drop that in here uh go ahead and sync it up it's pretty straightforward and you've also got um now the one thing this isn't as good is like the vegas thingy and the way that it crops in and moves things in and out um but what the heck this is all the way up to but that is really really good is this um it's i mean it's pretty nice uh, you know it's um it is what it is um there's that and i don't really use these but you can do that you can't really do it with vegas as easily as this but when you like moving it around like you wanna uh, zoom it in and out um, that's not as good as the uh, Vegas because that thing oh we just teleported well, I guess this isn't bad uh, you still got keyframes over here so you can add that as a keyframe uh, I, I don't know how to use this keyframe and once you go on to deliver uh, you forgot you know everything um, it's straight straight so it's straightforward um, if I go into color the, the keyframes are gonna be here in it yeah here we go so uh, I don't really know how to do this. I'll actually, I'll just get into it when I'm actually going to use them. Uh, but one thing also this thing has is the tracker, which is absolutely mental. is really, really good. The tracker on this thing. Um, first, you just go ahead and drop some. Uh, let's see. I want to drop one of these. Um, I want to like map it on to this thing here. Select. And... Um, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, press the tracker. Where is that? Here we go. Track. And it's going to start tracking it like it's a bleeding object in the actual video and you're looking at it through a mirror. And obviously the data comes up over here. Um, it does get lost um, because obviously it's not really mapped properly and everything. Uh, but this tracker destroys Vegas because Vegas doesn't even have a proper tracker. Uh, I'll go ahead and close this. No, don't want to save it. Uh, video editing and games. I mean, video, uh, for reviews, I'm going to be using this. And for gameplays and everything, uh, everything to do with recording the screen, I'm going to be using that because DaVinci doesn't support that format. Um, but it has its own format, so, you know, like DNG and everything, um, image sequence, stuff like that. That works with this. Um, and, the, and it's so much easier to edit as well for some weird reason this is a big problem and i don't know how to fix it um i can't really do much about it it just looks bad so yeah if you if if you're looking for like a new editor or something resolve is the way to go it's gone so good that i can actually recommend it to even beginners or you know whatever and other good thing is that it's on linux as well so ditch windows jump on this thing it's pretty good anyways if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below um other than that Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.